What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent and we are back with another installment in How It All Works Academy Ecamm Edition. Yesterday we just kind of gave you an overview of everything that's in Ecamm, but today we're going to be talking about destinations. Of course, you got to start with destinations. If you don't have anywhere to stream to, it doesn't even matter what you set up in the platform because you got to be able to stream to somewhere, right? So we're going to look at all of the different places that you can stream in this video. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so now we're here on the desktop and first thing we're going to do is actually go and log out of Facebook. So let's do that right now. Ecamm Live Options and we're gonna log out of Facebook. And we say log out. Next thing we wanna go do is go down to YouTube. Again, Ecamm Live, and we're gonna say log out of YouTube. And we say log out. All right, so that is the first step. Now we wanna go ahead and set them up. So right here on the, your program window, you have a list of items that you can use. Uh, Restream.io, Switchboard Live, YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, Facebook. So let's go ahead and set these up. So we want to set up Facebook. And if right here at the bottom, it says log in. We're going to log in using web browser. Now you're going to need to make sure that your account is actually the one that's logged in. So we're going to do that now. That, that literally just logs us in on Facebook. I didn't really have to do anything else. It just logged us in. And right there, you're saying you now, you're now ready to go live on Facebook. As a reminder, don't put third party ads in your live video. Also clearly distinguish any pre-recorded content from live content. Easy. And you can click get started. You can actually go live. You can change your uh, post as post the timeline, which is just friends. This is critical. You want to be able to post public so that everybody can see it. And you can do a go, you can do a scheduled thing or you can go live right then and there. If you want to actually schedule here in Ecamm, you just go to go live now. You can actually do new scheduled live and it'll give you this uh, dialog box. You can enter your title, your description, schedule your date and time. You can even upload your image right here in Ecamm and you're good to go. You hit schedule and that is for a later date. So you have that function and feature here in Ecamm as well. I'm going to cancel that. What I want you to also see is that you can actually do an uh, unscheduled live stream. So you can just click on now and enter your description here. And you're ready to go. So that's how you would do that for an unscheduled live stream um, in the system. Other thing that you can do, of course, is to set up YouTube. And in order to do that, you click here on the top option and switch to YouTube. Now we have to click on login. And it's going to ask me to sign in to continue to Ecamm Live. Finally, we're at the screen where you can select which account you want to switch to. And of course, it gives me options to switch to all the different accounts that are here. And then I will click select the one that I want, click allow, and you're ready to go. Same options are here. We have broadcast, which is public, unlisted, or private. You can go live now and then edit your 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 stream title you can also change this to a scheduled broadcast so any broadcast that's already scheduled in youtube which i already have two they come up automatically and then you have the ability to do a new scheduled live and you get that same dialogue box that you got with with facebook so this looks very similar to us uh, next thing we want to do of course is go ahead and set up linkedin we click here to go log in, select my profile. And there you have it. Well, now we're ready to stream on LinkedIn. Of course, several steps there. I showed you some of those pieces, uh, but we want to make sure that you are following the process. You just use this bottom corner of your, your preview window to be able to do that. Um, and again, same thing, you can go live now. Um, you, you have the ability to do that. You can actually switch to an organization. So if I have one, I can switch to an organization there. And then you can also enter uh, the, your description um, for your going live now. Now, 
We do not have the ability to do scheduled posts for LinkedIn just yet. This is where Restream comes in, and this is actually a really good um, time to be able to configure your Restream piece. And so Restream is one of the options that are here. Uh, but I, before I do Restream, I want you to see that there is a custom RTMP, so you can set up a custom stream key. For me, this is already configured for Amazon Live, so you do have that ability there. Um, but you can also set up and do a record only. Now, that's what I have been using to do all my videos. So wanted you to know that. Then, of course, Restream.io. So now we have Restream.io. I'm already logged in. I'm going to do that same process again. Log out. And so when we come here to Restream.io, you'll see more info or log in. Now, you would have already have had to set up an account on all of these platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and you want to be logged in on your computer so that it makes that process simpler. Here, I'm just going to click log in. And again, we're in. So now I'm ready to stream with Restream.io. And because I already have a couple of things scheduled in Restream, to go to several different destinations. That's why you're seeing these two options here. Of course, I could just create a whole new Restream event and you'll see that what you don't see is that that actually pulls up your Restream account for you to be able to create the event in Restream. Does not allow you to create the event here in Ecamm, but that's okay because that actually works better for us. And there you have it, <laughs> man. We were able to show you Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, even Restream, and it's really not a complicated process. They make it very simple because it's supposed to be. It should be. Um, the old way, if you are familiar with broadcast and you're familiar with encoders, this thing used to be a bear. So we're excited about these platforms that really make it very simple. I'm excited about LinkedIn. Me adding LinkedIn in this video was my actually first time being able to add LinkedIn because I just recently got approved for LinkedIn Live. Keep that in mind, however, you do need to apply to LinkedIn Live before you can actually add it as a destination. So let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know in the comments if you saw something that really helped. Tomorrow's video, we're going to be looking at actually setting this up in Restream. I know that that's a little outside of our Ecamm edition of of the How It All Works Academy, but I know that that is going to be a follow-up question, so come back for that video. And then we got plenty more stuff. I mean, listen, Ecamm's got multiple features that we need to cover, so we're gonna cover all of them in this series. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. Join with us and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.